lights out. <laughs> oh my god. I missed the Sergio pop off dude. I hope he's back for ultimate. Oh yeah, I would love to see him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Him and Jutsu. Him and Jutsu had some sick oh, pop Oh, Jutsu too, man. Yeah, Jutsu had some sick pop offs. We don't have anyone that's that hype anymore. I love Disco Bunny's pop offs personally. I think they're funny. Disco is just like the funniest person in general. <laughs> Disco is popping off 24 7, dude. It's, it's so great to see him do anything. We're getting into this Gallarella versus Antoine. Good to see Antoine still playing Fox. Mm -hmm. His Fox is super clean, too. Like, he's got a really good uh, handle on like the flowchart punish game that Fox has. As well as a good handle in the neutral as well, I feel. Yeah, I feel like combo game gets really difficult in this matchup specifically because of that double jump, though. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it plays a factor here at all. Already getting some good damage here as Villarello. Oh my gosh, goes right through it. Caught him slipping, but doesn't get the stock. Oh, but he does Catches catch the, the illusion. <laughs> oh. Yellowrello, uh, this man does not have an off switch. Like, when he gets started, he keeps going. Right, it's like a motor engine. It's hard to stop a train. Revving up. His movement is really good right now. He's just kind of weaving around Fox, getting some percent in. Yeah, getting some good damage. Yeah. Perfect. Here comes Antoine. Opening Ooh. him up a little bit. Catching the jump. Oh, I love the neutraler out of the egg. Okay, patience after the jabs. And look, he has him trapped on his platform now. Can't get down. And look how small that shield is. Oh. He really wanted it, dude. He wanted, is this... he wanted it again. He caught Ooh. the illusion again. Oh, I thought he was going to fall off the corridor. He wow. wanted it. Illusion to upgrade the tried and true. Is that an accidental? I don't. You know what? I always get scared when I see people do moves like that that I that I'm not sure how to recover from. Uh -huh. uh, but it's right. gonna get catched throw on the ledge. Uh, time. I love the patience, especially because you saw Gillarello. You know you're gonna get into that mode where you're feeling yourself. Any option sounds good. Mm -hmm. Patience really does something great about breaking that. And that's exactly what Antoine did to get that stock. Ooh. And let's talk about that. why that forward smash was so good, because it covered a lot of options from Yellowrello and kept him safe, but now Antoine's got to find his way around the Yoshi gauntlet of an edge guard, but does! Back on stage! Yep, jumps over the grab there. You know what? I thought a neutral was going to come out, but I love the up air choice as well. Goes for the trade, gets the extra damage, doesn't get the stock. How far can Antoine take this? Caught in the sky, double jump gone. Does yep. he have the double jump? Getting a lot of damage here. This is what Antoine is known for. Oh, but he misses the back air spacing just a little bit off, and now on the disadvantage, Makes doesn't take the stage, and Gillarello comes out on top in that game one. I wanna, I wanna say that that nair was super the right choice. Do they? Uh, because I think Antoine was probably getting ready for the back air. Mm -hmm. It was getting ready for the one, two, three tech, but instead he just got the one tech and did not hit it. So yeah, you could definitely see that being the option. Just got word from the man neighbor that they actually played this exact same matchup in the reverse mains and yellow was actually ended up taking it over Antoine. Mm -hmm. I mean Yoshi's such a hard character to play I mean he's hard to pin down when you're playing against him and that's sort of the point is that his movement is weird and you have to use that unpredictability to your advantage which yellow Rella did such a good job of in that game one because Fox is all about needing to know exactly where you are to hit those up airs. Yeah. And Yellowrello was able to just be wacky and weird with it. Yeah, I feel like Yoshi's really one of those strange characters that no one wants to play a good main, right? Like, it was like, if I had to choose between a good Falcon main and a good Yoshi main, I would definitely choose the good Falcon main any day of the week. And that's because of how weird Yoshi is, mm -hmm. right? You have that double jump armor. Can't really combo him. I mean, you have to, every single Mario character has the combo breaking neutral air too, right? So we yeah. just, everything about him I hate. That's valid. Ooh, that killed. That was like, he was probably DIing up, and that's exactly why that killed. Yeah, he Prob did go straight up there. Yeah, probably probably DIing up to not get hit by it in the first place. But. Yeah. And usually, and usually you have the time between the first and second hit to react and then DI down or to the left, whatever you need. But no time to react to that right there, man. Yoshi, one of the few characters who has an up smash big enough to actually go through Dreamland platforms. <laughs> oh, oh, that's is he going to capitalize? Tries to go for the down air. I was hoping he would actually try to to go for the forward air, but I guess he realized he wouldn't be able to time it as perfect as he could a down air with multiple hitboxes. Down air is also a really good option right there because you can get just one of the soft hits on it yeah. to make Fox reset and go for another Firefox, and then you can pull out the forward air and win the game. That was so sad. Rello had just reset him, and then Wispy blew him off the ledge to, so he could illusion back on. That was almost incredible. Someday, the stage won't be legal anymore. I don't know. I don't hate Wispy, but I really think that <laughs> that Wimbox can do some real janky stuff. <laughs> And it's been legal since 64, so we'll never get rid of it. Oh, misses the up air there. 
And Frello on his back foot right now. Anton really finding some good ways to capitalize. <laughs> good That's that was it's a wait. big mix up. Just don't do up. anything. Yeah. Yeah, because then you can punish him once he gets out of the egg. But now he's off the stage. Ooh, Ooh and I love that. With an air. I love that trade. It was just there, there was it was the best option, right? Rella was recovering high. Uh, for Yoshi, recovering high is one of the most difficult things, especially if you don't have your double jump. You have to rely on the egg, and even then, your hand still goes over the ledge if you use the egg that close to the ledge. It was such a perfect angle to up smash. Great awareness there from Anton. Let's also not forget to mention that uh, if Yellowrello does just air dodge past and not get hit by the up smash, he can't land on stage because of where Antoine is standing there, which means that he has no option to kill him with for doing that up smash. Yeah. So just a really well thought out up smash. Yeah, for sure. And now, final destiny. What do you think Antoine banned? Oh, no, he he just won on the triplat, so that was gone. Probably Town no, City? Knowing Antoine, probably Lila. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't want to deal with Yoshi movement and Lilat oh, movement. No. Yeah, I totally agree. Just get rid of all platforms. Yeah, I think just against Yoshi, you don't want platforms at all because of how great he is moving in the air, right? Yeah. I would not want to deal with a Yoshi who can move around platforms. <sighs> right now, Yellowrella has him to figure out how to deal with Fox moving around the stage. Yeah, dude, dash attack after dash attack. Oh, that looks like, that looks super melee-esque right there, right? Like, he, <laughs> Yellowrello just SDI'd the crap out of that up there. Oh my Ooh. gosh, down air to forward air. Got another one, misses it just barely. I loved Antoine's angle towards the stage instead of straight up there. Mm -hmm. The shine make you pop up a little bit, not get any threat from that Yoshi. Okay, pushing the Kerper high. I get great option there, he's gonna go for the up air. He's gonna go for the up air. Oh no, he's trying to go for the up smash I there. I really like that. He's timing his get out so well to avoid getting killed. Well, it's important to mix up your timing a lot, especially with a character like Fox who's so built on having certain timings to the combos, to the recovery. You get in a mode where you play against Fox. That but was yeah. such a good punish. Down air on shield is not safe. Perfect reverse of that down B as well to catch that uh, the ending frames of that down air. That was so good from Yellow Ooh. Hit is the air dodge, but misses the punish, unfortunately. Yeah. Yoshi's that's... air speed. Really good. Oh, he's in a scary spot. Black Egg. Yep. And that's the second time we've seen neutral air get contested with up smash. Antoine takes the trade and takes a stock. Low percents now on him as well. Last game here. I want to point out that Antoine's had really great fake outs with this movement. A couple of times coming off of ledge and right there, fainting that he's going to go for Yellowrello, but then just air dodging and catching the buttons that he does. Exactly, and it's going to take that next level type of mind game to go in and get this like, second time. Down throw to back air, another back air. Oh, tries to find another, but there the frame trap letting him get the up tilt. Yellowrello needs to keep his space, needs to find some pressure on Antoine's shield because Antoine has so much momentum right now. Oh, yep. Trey's a neutral air with the neutral air. He's not going to get on the stage, but he, he, he wanted it. He was just an inch off, a pixel off, and now off the stage. I feel like um, when you're right next to Yoshi and sitting in shield, up uh, down B is such like a threat. Mm -hmm, for sure, that's going to be it. Yeah. I, and that sucks. I feel so bad for Antoine there. It's a very anticlimactic, too. Yeah, it was. I feel super. He had, Antoine had a really good idea, and then it just, it didn't work. It put him on the back foot, and then that happened. Mm -hmm. That was really good from Yellow to capitalize there, but Antoine had so much momentum on that second stop. Hard, dude.